Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is Friday. We are starting off a weekend vlog, I believe. I think that's what we're doing here since we do have a three day weekend. So, ah, happiness. Um, right now it's 4.33 for me and I'm on my way to Taco Bell because I can't get enough of these cheesy gordita crunches. I am going to eat them out of house and home with cheesy gordita crunches. Like I can't wait. Eee. So I'm on my way to Taco Bell right now. It's really bright outside, so I want my sunnies. I have a light jacket on, even though it's 33 degrees. It's not windy and it's sunny. And then when I get back home, I was gonna eat and then it's time to hop on stream. So we're just getting a snack. Also, earlier today, sorry, the roads, they be so bumpy. Um, Earlier today, we had a weird smell in our apartment and it was very intense. It made me very nervous because at first I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. And then people, like the neighbor knocked on my door and I was just like, okay, maybe not. Okay, cool, whatever. Okay, so I'll insert that clip while I drive on to Taco Bell and I will be right back. Hi, you guys. Coming in to report that so I'm like sitting here working, minding my own business as one does. And I start to smell something weird in this apartment. I'm like, that kind of stinks. But you know, people be in here cooking. Not everybody can cook. Everybody eats different things. So I just mind my own business. And it's like a couple hours later, somebody come knocks on my door and they're like, hey, do you smell something? And I'm like, actually, now that you mention it, <laughs> And she's like, no, nobody's cooking. And that smell is on your floor and the one underneath us. And we're not sure what it is. Um, can you try calling the police department? Because we tried calling them already and they're sending someone, but maybe you should call too. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I did, I called. Now I'm getting kind of nervous because I hear aunt sirens. Yeah, they're pulling in here. I'm like do I put on a jacket do I put on some boots do I grab my car keys do I get my purse I'm like kind of freaking out because I'm like I, I still have like an hour of work I'm, I'm nervous um, I'm gonna put on some shoes just in case maybe I should have brushed my teeth Maybe should have washed my face this morning. Um, let me find my house keys just in case. <sighs> I'm freaking out. All right, I'll keep you guys up to date. Thank you for choosing my KFC Taco Bell. What can I get for you? Hi, can I get two of the the um, the flaming hot cheesy gordita crunches? We got flaming hot cheesy gordita. Anything else? Um, can you add beans to both of them and then that's all? Add beans? Yep. Anything else? No, that's all. 818 at the first window. All right. Actually, can you add a... No, it's fine. No, no. I don't need anything else. Thank you. Okay. I almost wanted another one of those little Chipotle melts because that sounds amazing, but no, 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 no. Very awkward. When the lady handed me her bag, our hands touched and we both paused. And it just wasn't romantic at all. It was like, ugh. I don't think she liked it either. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> all right, and now I'm heading home. So on my receipt, they didn't ring me up for the Flaming Hot Cheesy Gordita Crunches. So I don't know if that's actually what I'm gonna get. Either way, I like the Gordita Crunches. So I don't really care what version I get of it. Um, also thinking back, the spicy ranch sauce that's on the cheesy gordita crunches back in the day that used to be called Baja sauce so they changed it it still looks the same and I'm pretty sure I mean it's most likely a different sauce but it used to be Baja sauce maybe they were sounding a little what is this it's so bright out here okay never mind I'll be back when it's not so bright sitting down to eat my taco bell um I for I need a little knife and my sour cream. 
guess it's time to see if they gave me the right tacos or not. I have so much like hot and mild sauce. These feel crazy. I mean, they look right. They're the flaming hot ones. Ooh, hold on. This one feels bigger. I think I want to eat this one. It feels bigger. And then I'll eat this one later on tonight as a snack. I'm coming back for you later. Because I need to be on stream in like uh, seven minutes. So I got to like wolf this down really fast. But mm. I knew that like, I said add beans. They subbed beans. It's fine. I'm just going to eat it. These people do not listen. And it annoys me. Because I didn't feel like I needed to specify. Because I felt like last night I over specified. But it's fine. I'm going to eat it anyway. But I'm annoyed because I wanted meat and beans. Because it's more filling. Then why did they charge me? They literally charged me to add beans and not sub beans. So I paid for beans and meat, but only got beans. It's fine, I'm gonna eat it anyway, but I'm annoyed. It still tastes good, but it's just not right. And this battery is flashing. I feel like my batteries die so fast now. I don't know. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna hop on stream and I'll be back after. All right, we're off stream and we're sitting on the floor. I don't know how I feel about my eyeshadow. I liked it at first and now I'm just like, Ugh. so I don't know. Um, I wanted to go ahead and start on the cabinets that are down on the floor. That way I can kind of practice putting the contact paper on them because I feel like the most important ones are gonna be the ones kind of on the back above the stove because those would be the first ones that people will see with their eyes when they come over here with themselves. So I just wanna get a little bit of practice in. It's, I don't know how long it's been. It's probably been an hour and I got the contact paper on one door. And honestly, you guys, this is a lot of work and I just don't know if it's worth it because me deep down just wants to paint these things and be like, hey, fight me when I move out of here because this is a lot of work. It would be so much easier for me just to sand these and paint them. Cause honestly, this is a lot. Like, I wonder if I called the um, the landlord and be like, hey, um, would you be against me painting the cabinets white? Like just to give them a fresh coat? Like, would you be fine with that? Like, I feel like I can ask him that and either he'll say yes or no. Like it's, what can he really say? Like I'd shoot him a text and be like, hey, how would you, do you care if that kind of thing hair like that in the back because uh, i feel like yeah it looks pretty good like i'm gonna put everything back on the hinge and see how i feel but it's so much work and the amount of time i've sat here and tried to get this contact paper on here i probably could have painted every cabinet like it's so much work i don't know it's because maybe i'm just tired that i just feel like this feels like it's taking forever or if it's actually taking forever just considering i've done only one section and it's taking me an hour i will be in here for pretty much eight hours trying to get this whole kitchen done and probably more than that like it'll probably end up being more than eight hours just gotta figure out how to get these back on here correctly little 
drawer things back on here. But girl, her eyes are tired. It's 9.49. I'm gonna put this back on and I'll show you what I'm working with. And then honestly, I feel like I might shoot the owner a text tomorrow and be like, hey bro, what's up? How would you feel? Because this is a lot of work. It'd be so much easier just to paint them. And it's like, I promise I'll do a good job. Like I would never do a bad job. Yeah, even like, yeah. So even now, like it's even still coming off. Like I've mashed it down really good. And then some sections are lifting. So I feel like that's something I would forever have to be dealing with is things lifting and having to go back and make sure they're sticking and things like that. Just a lot of extra unnecessary work. And I really, really don't want to have brown cabinets. Like I feel like having white cabinets will look so good. But if he tells me, no, you can't paint them, then I feel like having a cow fridge, like that's a way bigger surface and it'll probably still make the kitchen look more fun. So like this thing is just annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and put the door back on the cabinet and then I'll be back. I seriously hate my life after messing around with this drawer because I'm pretty much gonna have to take the whole thing off. Um, because it's not even sticking. Like it's coming up in some areas and I feel like from far away it would look really good. But up close it looks like actual dump. So let me show you. Like I feel like on camera you can kind of see the issues here. Right here in this corner, you can see where I had to, it's kind of overlapping. And I feel like from a distance, maybe super far away, like probably further than this, it would look good. Like white cabinets. That looks so fresh and nice. But sitting here and sitting here and trying to do all of this just feels like too much work. Like, oh, oh my gosh. And I'm so sad because it looks good to have like the white there. Like the brown is so ugly and distracting. I hate it. <sighs> but it's 10 o'clock. I've had enough of doing things. I'm seriously about to go grab my switch and probably just get in bed for the night because I'm tired. I don't want to have a headache and I want to get up and do stuff tomorrow. So... Okay, so before I retire to my room for the rest of the night, I did have a package from ColourPop that came in the mail today from some stuff I ordered. So I'm opening it up. And what's kind of devastating is that they just released some other stuff and I'm just like, oh, I want that stuff too. So I might be on ColourPop again real soon. So sad for me. I bought four things and the whole reason I was even on the site is because uh, ignore my hair I'm not gonna do anything about it I wanted another one of these heart-shaped blushes because they're so cute last year I bought a red one and a hot pink um it was actually a red one and a what is going on with the lights I bought a red one and a light pink one now this one is more of like I don't know, I would call this more of a Barbie pink, but I mostly bought it because of the packaging because I don't even remember if I like the formula or not, but the packaging is just so cute. Like, I love the way that looks. And then I bought these eyeshadow palettes, and now that I have them, I feel like they're too dark. I like bright or like pastel colored eyeshadows. Just kind of going off of memory on what these look like, but these are like yeah, these are a little darker than I probably would have honestly liked. So I don't know how I feel about them, but they're kind of dark. I don't know if I'm interested in shadows this dark, but they're really pretty. Like the packaging, I like that it's like this hard plastic. They're so cute. So I bought a green one. I'm just like super incapable of opening things today. And then I got this kind of darker blue one. Again, I just feel like they're a little too dark. Like I bought them because I liked the packaging and I thought I really wanted these, but now I don't know. And maybe if there was a brighter green and a brighter blue, I'd be more like, yeah, I love these. But since they're so dark, I don't know. 
how I feel about it, especially if spring and summer are coming up. Like, I don't know if I want to be like all dark and moody looking, especially considering I feel like this eyeshadow is kind of dark that I'm wearing right now. And I don't know if I'm feeling it. I also got this freckle pen. So you're supposed to be able just to I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think I am. It looks one way on camera. Who knows what it actually looks like on real life. But it's just a freck pen. And you draw yourself freckles. You probably should be more careful with it, but I don't know. I was bored. I bought some stuff. I don't know how I feel about it. decisions were made. I'm going to wash my face and call it a night. I'm going to go ahead and play Animal Crossing in my bed. This is day one to our three day weekend vlog. So I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Well, it'll be tomorrow for me, but next clip for you guys. See you in a little bit. Hi, welcome to day two of this vlog. We are open up a window really quick it looks bright enough outside we are heading out and we're actually I'm going to jungle gyms so fun I'm gonna show you guys my outfit because I kind of like it kind of like I want to like it but at the same time I'm just like Ugh. do I like it we're gonna stand in front of this mirror because it's right here it's just like a shirt I have my jacket on, but these pants, I want to like them because they're like corduroy. Yeah, they're like, it's not focusing on the pants, but okay, you can see the texture. They're corduroy pants and they sit just at a really weird height. Like I want them to sit a little lower. I don't know. They're just not long enough in my opinion. This may be a better mirror, even though it's super dirty, but the pants should just be maybe just an inch longer in my opinion. They're just not long enough. I don't know, the more I look at my outfit, the more I wanna go change it. Like, I don't feel like I'm this person. Yeah, I feel like I look like a biker. I don't wanna look like a biker. Like, this is too much. All right, um, I'm actually gonna change my shirt or something. This is too intense. Even though it's all black, something about it just looks a little too tough for me. I don't like this tough look. Let me go find a different shirt. Okay, the air is on, but I feel like somehow this outfit is better. This seems a little less tough, probably because there's smiley faces on the jacket. Cute. All right, I like this outfit better. All right, now I can, I don't know how I feel about the necklace. Ugh. I think the necklace might be too much too. Let's find a different necklace and then we can really head out. Yeah, I guess. This is as good as it's gonna get. I give up. It's literally 12.05 and I wanna go run my errands. I wanna go to General Gems. I wanna get to the store, but probably before it gets too like busy. <sighs> Ready to go. All right, so we just made it to Jungle Gems. I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. It's like really cute here. All right, so this is the, I guess, Rhino entrance and there's other entrances around. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab my groceries and I will be right back. All right, we're going into Jungle Gems now. Now, look at this creepy Campbell's soup thing. Usually he talks and little characters talk next to him, but this time he wasn't. They have so many different kinds of boba drinks and I've never had any in the can. So I did have to pick some up just to try them. Um, all of these ramens looked spicy, so I didn't get any of them, even though there were so many. And it's so awkward filming in these stores. And I'm noticing now, like, when I'm recording, I'm either moving too fast with the camera or it's too far away. Like, you literally can't see anything that I'm looking at. Not that any of these Funkos were that good. It was so strange. It was like... No characters that I had ever recognized. These are like all from weird, obscure shows that 
people probably watched in the 80s or probably 70s. I don't even know. Probably not. It wasn't even good things. So <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was looking at. All this candy. Now I know if I ever want bags of fruities, I know where to come and get some. In this section, it was just so hectic. Like there was just people everywhere in this place. You couldn't walk anywhere. They didn't really have hand baskets. So you would only be able to get a cart. Because if I had a hand basket, I'd be able to weave in and out of all these people. But with a cart, it's a little bit harder. I don't know. Lion Elvis. <laughs> uh, these were like marshmallows. I'm going to have to figure out a perfect day to come to Jungle Gyms. It has to be like probably a weekday, early morning, when majority of people are at work. That's probably the best time to come. That way I can relax and walk around and actually look at things. That'll be the only time I go back is if I have a weekday off that isn't a holiday where all the normals at work. All the cream saver, cream saver candies. Do you guys remember those? If they had the orange and cream, I would have got one, but I don't really care for strawberry and cream. These hot fudge cakes. I was confused because I get these from Frisch's and usually there's ice cream in the middle. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on with that. It's my ball and chain cart. The churros are pretty good. I feel like I should have got more. But again, I was just overwhelmed, so I just grabbed what I could. And there was just so many different chocolates. And then people just, I don't know. I don't want to keep talking about how people were just everywhere, but they were literally everywhere. Nobody would stick to one side of the aisle so that maybe one way could be incoming traffic, one way could be ongoing. No, they're just everywhere. Nobody says, excuse me. They're just all over the place. I did randomly look up and I saw this. And I was just like, oh, cute. But the creepy tree wasn't cute. <laughs> Little random things over here. The lion was cute. I wanted to touch it, but fabric sitting in wide open places like this kind of freaked me out. So I want to touch it and get germs. And some hollow, hollow ice cream. A bunch of boba. I should buy one of these little frozen packs of boba, but I didn't. Because I had so many of the canned ones that I was just like, no, I better not. And that would be all. We are the lighting. <laughs> Please cooperate. We're leaving Whole Foods. It's not Whole Foods. Where am I? Jungle Gym. It's 159. I don't know how long I was in there. It feels like two hours but it's so hectic and crazy in that store. I don't, like, I got a lot of good stuff. Like, I got a lot of snacks, no real food. Um, I'm happy to be getting out of there because it was just so hectic and it's most likely because I went on a weekend, you know, mid afternoon on a Saturday. Of course, it's gonna be crazy busy, so. Happy to be leaving there. Now I'm hungry. But I have ice cream. I don't know what to do. Should I let my ice cream melt? Ah. Eee. I don't know. But I want to try Burger King's Big King. Like, I wish I can go around and show you guys, like, the other side of the entrance of this place. But... I feel like I need to get out from over here. I feel like like it's just it was so hectic and crazy that I feel like stressed out. And then I at one point I felt like I was lost. So yeah. I'm happy to be leaving. And I'm happy that I know where I'm going to get out of here. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I can't turn left here. Poop. Is that a Jamaican food truck? It's a Caribbean food truck, I think. I wanna go that way. Hmm. It's hot. I'm gonna turn the air on, actually. Back home from that trek from Jungle Gems. I keep wanting to call it Whole Foods. It's Jungle Gems. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I feel like I got some really good like snacks. 
I mostly got all snacks. I didn't get any real food because it was too hectic in there and I couldn't focus. Um, let's start with these Melona. These are probably so melted and I'm so scared. But these look really good. Uh, frozen dairy dessert, banana flavored. Now they had strawberry and melon. And I just got the banana because I figured that would be really good. And then as for everything else, oh, I got this uh, Fruit Loop cereal milk. Because I thought it sounded good. Uh, some bubble teas. We got a Thai flavor and a brown sugar. Because they looked good. Everything I got I picked up because it looked good because I didn't have time to look up anything, read any labels. Um, we got this Milky Way, but I got it. All this stuff came from the international aisle. Um, it's a Milky Way, but I bought it because it's a, it had different packaging than a normal Milky Way. So I'm assuming it's different. That's why I got it. We got two Milka bars, an Oreo brownie and a cherry cream. They look really good. And I'm pretty sure Milka, I like this chocolate. I'm pretty sure I like it like a lot. We got another bubble tea. This one is Taro because Taro is my favorite. It looked really good. I'm gonna say everything looked really good. So prepare yourself for that. We got a banana bubble tea because why not? I love banana. We got a, now this is Nutella, but I got it out the international aisle, so it had a different name and it says Vandalina. <laughs> I don't know what aisle this came out of, but it's a chocolate hazelnut and strawberry. And I just thought it looked so cute that I was like, oh, I'm getting that. That's probably really good. Uh, we got a Galaxy Cookie Crumble. So much chocolate. We got a Cadbury whole hazelnut. Oh, whole nut. But those are little pictures of hazelnuts on there though. Another like chocolate bar. A lot of these chocolates from other places taste so good. Like we just have shitty Hershey's and Hershey's chocolate isn't that good. Like it's not good at all. But all these other places have really good chocolate that tastes like something. Now, this is an American chocolate Kit Kat. It's a strawberry dark chocolate duo. This is just a new Kit Kat that I was like, oh, I gotta get that. All right, some more American candies. We got Jelly Belly Citrus because citrus flavors are my favorite kind of candies. And Ooze Chew Warheads. I just like I just wanted to try them. Last three things. They, uh, these are Kit Kats. Um, I'm assuming these are dark chocolate just based off the packaging. Dark chocolate Kit Kat. Based off of the packaging, chocolate orange Kit Kats. Based off of the packaging, maybe white chocolate with dark chocolate flecks, like a cookies and cream situation just because that's kind of what it looks like over there. And then out of the bakery section, they had such a nice bakery, but it was so hectic that I was just like, no way. It was just people everywhere blocking the whole section that I just couldn't get anything. Um, the only section that wasn't just packed was the section that had the churros. So this is an apple, apple, apple churro. They had a uh, strawberry, caramel and normal. So I got apple. It has an apple center. <sighs> I wanted to get Burger King because I was out there, but I had the ice cream and I had to get home. All right, I'm gonna put the drinks in the fridge. That way they're getting cold. I don't know which one I wanna drink. I'm kind of happy I got all different ones because in my mind, I was like, why did I get two Toros? But I didn't. 
I got a brown sugar and a taro. Eee! I hope I like them. All right, now I feel like I have to go real grocery shopping really quick just so I can have all my groceries. Um, I like that these come in a glass container. I prefer a glass over a plastic. That's really nice. Thanks, Fundalina. I guess while I'm out, maybe I'll eat Wendy's. Hopefully I get hungry while I'm out because it's 2.46. I still haven't eaten anything besides that churro and some water. Let's go grocery shopping and it's probably gonna be packed. I hate it already. I'm so sorry. But I'm just gonna make, I have a quick list to grab things and then we're gonna come right back home or at least get right back out of the store because I bet it's crazy in there. <sighs> We are at Trader Joe's now because I keep thinking about that general sow chicken they have in the bag in the frozen section. So I'm going to pop in there, grab a couple things from there, and then we'll probably go to like a basic store like Kroger's or Meyer or something like that to get all my like basic things. But we're here to get a couple more fun things because I don't have food at home, as you guys saw. Ugh getting sleepy oh Trader Joe's did not have Trader Joe's didn't have any of the general sal chicken so all I got was salad dressing and these frozen mac and cheese bites I am so sad because I really wanted that chicken but it's cool now I guess we're gonna go to Kroger's Ooh. I'm gonna go to Kroger's and just get my normal grocery stuff so I can go home. Like I've been out and about for too long. I probably need to go get like my skincare stuff. While I'm out by an Ulta, I need a new facial spray because I ran out and then the one I was using, uh, the one I was using before I switched to the Cl Clinique Moisture Charge was like this Mario Badescu one and I liked it. But now that I tried to go back to it, like I don't like the smell of it anymore. It has like a really strong like chemical kind of smell versus the moisture charge. I don't think it has a smell. And if it does, it's super subtle. So I never notice it. So I'm going to go back and get another moisture charge. And then just like a, a serum for my face. And then I'll go grocery shopping. I don't feel like going into another store's parking lot to grab this stuff. But I need that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. Right. Oh, I forgot how busy it'd be over here. Oh my gosh. I forgot. I'm at the park way over here and just walk. Because I just need to go to Ulta. It's not even worth it. There's two perfectly good parking spots right here. I'm going to park here and just walk. All right, it's super bright out here right now. It's uh, 411, Jesus, no, it's 411. Why have I been out this late? This is my last stop. I'm actually going to Meyer because it's, I didn't, it's so bright, I'm, you, I can't even see. But I just didn't want to go into Kroger's because I thought Kroger's was gonna be too hectic getting in and out of that parking lot because of Chick-fil-A and everybody else. So we're at Meyer. They have basically the same stuff. I'm just coming here for some basics anyway, so we're at Meyer. <sighs> all right, we are officially done with all our errands. I'm still just waiting to get hungry so I can go get dinner, but other than that, we are done running around. It is pretty much 5.30. Let me show you guys what I got from the grocery store. I believe I went to, yeah, just two different places. Let's uh, get to pulling everything out oatmeal because in the morning time I like to have oatmeal I haven't been having it but I do like to have it we got some apple uh, honey crisp apple pie granola I figured this would be good over the oatmeal 
tortillas because I figured maybe chicken quesadillas, breakfast tacos, you never know. We got these Boston cream pie donut pop tarts. These are new. And we got thin spaghetti, ground turkey. This one is um, Italian season. Um, chicken breast tenderloins. We got romaine lettuce, tomatoes, an avocado, and some diced red onions. I didn't feel like dicing my own onions, so I didn't. I just bought some pre-diced. Lazy. We got garlic bread, Texas toast. This is the five cheese kind. And I got my Creamalicious banana pudding ice cream. Finally, Meyer is my local Meyer is starting to sell it. Like I knew on their site it said Meyer was a retailer and they didn't have it until now. So yay. We got an olive oil and basil garlic pasta sauce, plain oat milk because I'm, I pretty much only have a corner of milk left and some freezer bags because I wanted to divvy up that chicken and probably groups of two. That way I'm able just to go in there and grab some thawed out and eat whatever I'm gonna eat that day. Um, I got some Trader Joe's mac and cheese bites just because these looked really good. And we got some green goddess dressing avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. That sounds good. This sounds like a good dressing. All right, I feel like now I need to start putting things away. Mm. Or when I was at Meijer, they actually had both of these at Meijer, so. If you guys have a Meyer, go to like the Asian food aisle and they're at the bottom. So you don't have to, if you wanted to try them and you didn't want to go to Jungle Gyms, there's another option. Uh, they also had the one in the white can. The one in the white can was just regular milk tea. I think I might put this in a fridge and maybe cook this tomorrow. I think we're having spaghetti tomorrow. Maybe Monday. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the freezer because I don't know. The light from the blinds is coming in. That's why you're seeing all that weird lines on my shirt. Also, I didn't realize the steel cut oatmeal was gonna look that small and grainy. I'm still gonna eat it, but I was just not expecting that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and divide up my chicken. Oh yeah, these are way bigger bags, of, way bigger bags than I thought they'd be for sure. You know, my logic is to bag them up two by two. That way, when I need to go in there and get some chicken, they're a little easier for me to grab because I'm probably going to eat two at a time anytime I cook anyway. So that way, they're a little easier to defrost. And it's going to be a lot easier to like, now have to marinate them. I can marinate them in the little baggies. I've never done this before divvying up my uh, chicken because usually I buy the chicken in the bag to begin with and you're able just to grab a few pieces out but that's not what they had at the store this is what they had so this is what I got I'm like been standing around this whole day just waiting for myself to get hungry still hasn't happened but I figured I might as well just go get my food and everything while I'm dressed and because once I sit down to get too comfortable, I may not feel like coming back out. Luckily, tomorrow is going to be a lot more chill of a day for me. Because I only have one place to be, and it's like a fun place. We're going to the mall. to go. Uh, I want to go to the store box lunch. Into the freezer. We should have a snack. What should we eat? Let's try one of these Kit Kats. 
Let's try the strawberry, the um, orange chocolate. The sun is getting crazy. Let's just go sit on the couch. Let me close the blinds. All right, you can see me a little better. Smells good. It smells like um, one of those, look, the, the chocolate oranges that you smash on the table. Mmm, it tastes just like that, but with like the crispy Kit Kat cookie stuff in there, the wafer. Is my place too hot? This thing is melting fast. Kit Kats are the best, man. They're just so simple. And you could do so much with them. All right, I'm gonna go get my iPad. I'm gonna finish watching her stream. And then I'm gonna get up in like a few minutes and we're gonna get some, something to eat. I'm pretty sure we're getting Wendy's because I wanna try that hot honey situation but at the same time i kind of want a burger <laughs> ah but we gotta try the hot honey because we're supposed to be trying new stuff so let me sit down and chill for a second and then i'll get back up we are back out because i finally got hungry it is 709 and i want to come try that hot honey chicken sandwich situation i hope that it's not too spicy because i really want to just enjoy my food you know, you know, I don't like to get beat up by my meals. Sorry, I have my heat on like super high. I'll turn it down just a little bit, but we're keeping it on 83. I'll just turn down how hard it blows out. <sighs> I really want to get that big bacon cheddar. Uh, it was a burger I got last time. I That's what I really want to get, but no, I'm going to resist and I'm going to get the new thing, even though I'm just like, mmm, mmm, delicious. <laughs> Waiting for my turn to order. Sleepy, sleepy. Sorry about that. You can go ahead. Hi, uh, can I get a number 12, the hot honey chicken sandwich? Small, medium, or large? Uh, can I get that a, a medium? And your drink? Can I get a, an iced tea, a sweet tea, I mean, with easy ice? All right. And is that chicken patty, is that the spicy chicken patty or the normal one? It comes spicy. Uh, can I get the normal chicken patty, the non-spicy one? With the hot honey? I'll, I'll have to let her know. Anything okay. else? No, that's all. 11 15. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. We got the food, and I kind of regret saying medium because these fries are good as hell. Like, they're salty, they're like warm. Mmm. I should probably check my food before I get home, but it's cold. I don't feel like it. Mmm. These fries are crazy. What the hell? When did fr Wendy's fries get so good? Mmm. This feels criminal. Did he give me a straw? I think it's in the bag. Okay. I will see you guys back at the house. Sitting at the kitchen table. Hoping that they actually gave me my right patty. It's the hot honey chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Uh, it looks like they gave me the right patty. It looks right. Oh, it's warm. Ooh. It looks good. Let me let me tell you what's all in here. A juicy chicken breast marinated and breaded in our unique fiery blend of peppers and spice topped with pepper jack cheese. 
apple wood, smoked bacon, crunchy dill chips, and a drizzle of habanero, habanero, hot honey sauce, all on a toasted bun for fire eaters with a sweet tooth. I got a regular bun, so it's not a hot honey one, or it's not a um a spicy, but it looks good. Why is it so dark? <laughs> I feel like it tastes good, but I'm just not a, a chicken sandwich person. Considering, I feel like if I want a chicken sandwich, I'm gonna go to Popeyes. I'm gonna go for Chick-fil-A. I'm not gonna go to Wendy's. This chicken patty is dry. <laughs> Jeez. The fries are good. The sweet tea is good. That big bacon cheddar burger that they have is good. Today's sweet tea isn't as sweet as it was that first day. What's up with that? I don't even taste the pickle chips. I feel like I need to dip this chicken sandwich in something. I think I actually have like a Chick-fil-A ranch. I need something else, it's dry. We need some uh, extra lubricants for this sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating. I'm gonna watch some videos on YouTube. Maybe the sweet tea doesn't taste as sweet because the honey is sweet. Also, the heat just cut on. I'll be back. All right, so I just cleaned up my room just a little bit and uh, I'm actually gonna run me a bath because we're now we're starting the relaxation part of the night. It's time. It's my favorite. It is 7.53. Relax. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the bath. Is the lights okay? I can't tell, but we're out of the shower, or we're out of the tub. It is uh, 9.13. I don't remember what time it was when I got in, but I was definitely in there for a long time. But now we're gonna have a snack. This is a Melona little bar that I got earlier today. If I like these, I might have to go back and get the rest of them because that's just my personality. I can't just get one and be like, oh, this is great. I'll, I'll eat these until I'm done. I'm like, no, I have to get all of them. <laughs> it's like square shaped. I don't wanna touch this in my bed. I'm glad I made my bed before I took the, tub, uh, before I took the bath because now it's gonna be nice to be able to get in my bed and it's gonna be all made already, please. Uh, I think that's focusing, but it basically just looks like a stick of butter on a stick. <laughs> oh. Kind of hard to eat, but it tastes like kind of a banana Laffy Taffy, but less intense. So let's say banana Laffy Taffy and cream just to kind of dilute the taffy because banana Laffy Taffy is intense. So it's like that, but a little bit more subtle. I'm gonna look up and see if they sell this ice cream anywhere else because I really don't wanna go back to Jungle Gems. <sighs> but I want that strawberry one and the melon one. What's this thing called? Melona? Melona. So apparently there is a mango, honey melon, strawberry, coconut, 
There is an international market that's not too far away from me. I wonder should I just go there because I am scared to go back to Jungle Gyms. Like I can't go back, man. There was one point where I was literally using a map to figure out where I was and the map was backwards. I was so confused, man. Well, they have an Instagram? Follow. Don't mind if I do. I'm actually about to get comfortable. I guess it's good that I wanna to go to the International Mart tomorrow because all my cute saucer plates got broke at the last place. So all I have are these plates, but no like cute tiny little ones for like random things. Like I could have threw this on a tinier plate, but this is the t smallest plate I have right now. We gotta get comfortable. Cause I wanted to do a little face mask too. We're opening up our Creme Shop Gudetama Fusion Essence Mask, the power of two mask in one. Vitamin C boosts collagen production and AHA helps remove inactive proteins. For plumper and younger skin. Even the little pack is cute. I'm like, what's on my bed? It's a glare. Okay. Um, the little instructions on the back. Place face mask on clean, dry face. Check. Enjoy 10 to 15 minutes of me time. Remove and discard mask. Um, remove and discard before mask is completely dry. Check out your new glow. No need to rinse or dry. Proceed with routine regimen. So cute. Oh, oh my gosh, it has a face. Hold on, I don't wanna drip this all on my bed, but I feel like I'm about to drip this all on my bed. Let's uh, drip it over the iPad instead. Probably not a good idea. Okay, oops, I do. This looks insane. Mmm, I feel more youthful already. Okay, I'm actually going to um, rub this all into my hands, put some on my knees, because Lord knows your knees need more moisture. I'm actually gonna turn on my TV and plug in the switch and play a little Animal Crossing. My eyebrows look a little crazy, but putting on my lip mask because my lips are dry. <sighs> Ooh, got a piece of hair on the little spatula thing. Gross, get out of there. Put in the plate that I had in the sink getting kind of hyped because it's time to get in the bed very excited about getting in bed tonight <sighs> i just downloaded a new game let me show you what it's killed this one so cute it was only six dollars in the e-shop actually it might have been like five dollars as some change in the e-shop like 5.99 but it's a spot the difference game so they'll show you two images or three two 3d little images and you'll have to spot the difference between the two i was like oh that sounds really casual and chill i could play that like just chilling playing a spot the difference game sure uh because i just played dead by daylight haven't touched it in two years i think i bought it back in 2020 played the tutorial and never played it again and the only reason i bought it is because back in 2020 they had that silent hill trailer and i was like <gasps> I need that game. It looks so awesome, but it's the most stressful game. Like I played the tutorial for being a survivor, being a survivor stressed that I was like, okay, pass that one. Let me try being the killer, even more stressed. Like I went from being like really chill and relaxing with a face mask playing Animal Crossing to having like a pit in my stomach. It's like, 
I don't like being chased and I don't like chasing people. So it gave me that same stress of like when you have a dream and or a nightmare and you're running from someone and they're chasing you. And like, I, I don't want to play that game. I'm sorry. I even bought it two years ago. Like I'm still mad. <laughs> um, that game is not for me. No, because I feel like there's games like, you know, I like those scary games. Like, Dead by Day, like, uh, what was that? Dead, what was it? Until Dawn, My Little Nightmares. Like there was chase scenes and some like scary scenes in those games, but it was broke up with other things. So it gave you that moment to go like, okay, fine. But this game is just constant chasing. It's not for me. Um, I'm gonna pay, play my tiny islands to D, oh, tiny lands. I keep calling it tiny islands. I'm gonna play my tiny lands to kind of decompress. It's um, 10.34. I'm gonna go ahead and finish drinking my tea. Probably gonna put some lotion on my hands because they feel kind of dry. And I'm gonna call it a night. I know I said I wanted this video to be like a three day a weekend vlog but I think it's gonna end up being a two-day vlog because I want tomorrow's vlog everything I'm doing on that day to be a separate thing because I feel like if I combined the footage all the footage from this video and what I want to do tomorrow it's gonna be the tone is it's just gonna be too much so I want to separate them and let tomorrow and Monday possibly be their own things leave it at that um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. I can't wait. Uh, I already got my whole day planned out and I got to stay on track and be productive. So I might even go to bed in probably like 30 minutes. I just want to play my game a little bit and then I'll probably go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and start over again. If you made it this far in the video, leave a, what should we do? that little 8-bit emoji. I don't know what that thing is, but I like him. He looks like an 8-bit character, if that's even the correct lingo I'm using. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you for watching. And also, thanks for um, the last two videos I posted. You guys really like those and you watch them. Thank you so much. I see they were like, um, out of all the videos for the week, they both made it to number one status. And I think it was the game room and the chill rainy day vlog, which surprised me because the chill rainy day vlog wasn't even, it ended up being a longer video, but there really wasn't much happening in it. So I'm surprised, honestly, but I appreciate it either way. Um, it does make me feel good. Like, oh, people, they're watching my videos. Oh my gosh. Um, but okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah, good night, see you.